hello guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for subscribing to my channel and uh, let's start today's lesson so first of all uh, did you guys found a solution for the uh, last video challenge which was to show this make these two variables dynamic with the parameters if you guys found it then good if not let's do it together so first thing to do that we have to make our uh, route make two parameters in here let's say a and b now back to our product controller in here we have to write uh, add two parameters to this uh, func method a and b so now uh, let's uh, ch uh, change the names to c and d in here all i will make it c and this one dollar sign d so now let's go back to our browser refresh the page so it says that page note let's give him the parameters four and three so you guys can see we can fetch uh, parameters from the url uh, using this method first in our route we have to send it like this then in our controller we have to get it like this so let's start today's uh, lesson which is the basics of migration uh, let's create a new migration first uh, by typing php artisan make migration and uh, i will name it create create uh, product table hit enter our migration is created successfully now let's go to database migrations and here you guys can see our migration so our uh, already it, uh, added our uh, table name now i will write add a column so i will write table the type of the column will be string and the i will name it name and the first one which is table id it's automatically uh, create an id table for uh, an id column for your table which is auto increment and not nullable and this one is a table time stamps this one's create two columns in your uh, table which is created at and updated at so uh, now uh, i created a new column which is the name is a string now i want to create another column and the type of this would be integer the name is will be value or let's say price and one more column table this one also integer and this will would be quantity so my database uh, my table which is products would have three columns name price and quantity let's make them not uh, nullable so i would say here uh, nullable false same here i will copy this to now if you want if you guys want to uh, give a default value you can do that also by typing here default and for example zero in here i will create another column but this column uh, will have a relationship with our users table uh, uh, to do that i will here type table foreign id and for example let's say who created this uh, record i will name it created by and in here i will type constraint like this now inside uh, this function i will write this table 
name so this is how we create a one-to-one -one relationship in laravel you just type foreign id your column name and constraint with table name now let's add another column table uh, let's say i want to store a date in my test table so that i will write date and my column name uh, let's say buying date and is if i wanted to store the time also in the state of date i would have written here date time like this now another column dollar sign table uh, let's say i want to know that is this product sold or not so i will create a column true or false to do that i will write here a boolean and is sold so this boolean will only take uh, one zero or one and uh, if i add another column here uh, this time i want to create enum uh, and i will name it like is sell sellable uh, and in here inside array i will write the the values for that uh, let's say yes and no okay so let's uh, save all of them and run our migration uh, in the terminal we have to write php artisan migrate and hit enter so our uh, newly created table has been migrated to database now let's go and check our database so uh, here let's refresh hey, as you guys can see uh, my table is created now let's go to alter table and check the columns so uh, you guys can see it's created id with primary key and not a label also unique with auto increment name worker price and quantity not a label and created by if we go to foreign keys we can see that our create uh, created by is linked with our users table primary key and uh, at the end we guys can see that it created two more columns with time stamp which is will store the time uh, the time when this record is created so uh, now let's see how we can add a new column to our existing my uh, table to do that we will type php artisan make migration creation and add column to our table name or which is products and hit enter so our migration is done now let's go to our newly created migration as you guys can see all the everything is ready we have to just type here doors and table and the type of column for a string and the name of the column for example i will say tests now let's run migration again php artisan my migrate hit enter so it's added to the column now let's go and check our database okay if we come and uh, select this uh, table you guys can see at the end it added our newly created table which is uh, newly created column which is tests same now let's uh, see how we can remove a column from our existing table to do that we have to write php artisan 
make migrations and the migration name for example remove column from our products table it enter migration is created now let's go to migration and in here let's write the dollar sign table drop column and the column name which is test uh, this column now let's save everything and run our migration php artisan migrate hit enter then now let's go to our database and check our table okay uh, let's select it again and as you guys can see uh, the column has been removed so that's it for this video and hope you enjoyed the video like the video and please do not forget to press the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video.